Just three to shoot. On the inbound. And finished off by Miritich. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense is good a job offensively as, as we saw. The defensive presence was almost non-existent. And they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. With throws out last year, Clark, as you said, the guys who are mostly role players showed what they can do. Well, they're really unselfish at both ends of the floor, and that shows. I mean, they give great effort, they trust each other, they play together, and they always play hard, and they finish game strong, which I think is a credit to them and the coaching staff. Heinrich. Soft touch off the glass. Lakers lead by 10. Outside Boozer. He kicks it to Russell. Fires the three. For Chicago, they've done a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Straight to the bucket with a nice head of steam. Well, no reason to slow it down when there's nothing in the way. Here's Clarkson. Johnson in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Bulls trail by eight. Heinrich kicks to Meritich. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. And that's now nine points for Nikola Meritich. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. Timeout called the Lakers. Kirk Heinrich in his 12th season out of Kansas. Remember covering this guy in college. Uh, still a quality defensive combo guard. A 6'4", tremendous IQ and anticipation. Really helps him at the defensive end. And he's, I think, a little underrated offensively, too. here for the Lakers. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Joe Keem Noah's for Gasol. Gibson comes in for McDermott. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Dunleavy. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. His message? I don't want us patting ourselves on the back just yet. We can congratulate ourselves after the final horn. Right now, we need to go out there and take this one home. Guys? Now, here is Miritich, following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Here's Rose. Noah kicks to Butler. Rose attacking into Noah. The kick out to Rose. Out of bounds, Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Los Angeles on D. Butler with the ball. Clock at four. Second shot opportunity. And the shot is good. I mean, that's just too weak on the coverage. Heading down the stretch, that sort of defensive lap can cost you the game. Davis setting the pick for Lynn. There's a screen. Tries to snap the cold streak. That's good from Randall on the assist by Lynn. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. Rose kicks to Butler. 
and some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Rose. And Davis sends it back. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. More rebounds, you get possessions. More shots at the hoop. And oftentimes, that decides the game. And he throws it down hard with one hand. You know, who says the big guy doesn't like to attack the basket? I mean... Could have fooled me on that one. Yeah, nice change of pace for him to power one home. Yeah, it's not usually his role, but he takes advantage of the situation there. Now, here is Miritich. Rose passes to Butler. Top of the key. Rose can't hit. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratchers. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. Lynn dishes to Young. Back to Lynn. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. Kicks to Young. Second chance shot. Rebound by the Bulls. Butler's got three rebounds so far in the game. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Pass to Miritic. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Now the Lakers on the break. Young's running. The rebound by Gibson. Can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. I'm sure that's a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in the first half. Now here's Lynn. Randall with a screen for Young. Back to Lynn. No good. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Butler from outside. A rebound by Young. Lakers leading by five. They double him with Noah. And the Lakers call time here. Yeah, he definitely saw some things that were not working for them out there. And now he's going to make some adjustments. I'm not sure what it was, but he clearly wanted something to change out there. change here. Snell's checked in. Here is Bryant. Out left to the wing. In a wide open look for Lynn. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. You know, their three-point shooting since halftime is about as good as you could possibly ask for, guys. Now's the time to put the pedal to the metal, boys. Keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Butler is green on Lynn. Rose kicks to Snell. From the top of the key. Good. Nothing but net. Lakers leading by six. 
passes it to Kobe. Bryant is doubled. Clock at four. And a wide open look for Lynn. Can't connect from long distance. Well, I think sort of just playing this one out now as they get the last rebound, they really haven't had much success today controlling the missed shot. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. He dishes it to Kobe. Shoots it. No good off the front iron. Bulls trail by six. Right side Rose feeds to Snell. A three-pointer off the mark. I don't like throwing up long-range threes at this point. You've got to get better looks to try to close this gap. Then the pass to Kobe. Back to Lynn. Shot high post. Misses off the right iron. Got to like the defense not quitting on the play and getting a hand in the face. Sure do. With a tough defender breathing down your neck, that makes it not an easy shot. He's just disappeared in this quarter, guys, and they're going to have to have him produce if they're going to cut into this lead. On the wing, Bryant. Hits from the high post. Bryant got 27. Bulls trail by eight. From deep, Rose. Rose can't get that one to fall. Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead, to me, has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. Outside, Lynn fires from the line. No luck. And I'll tell you what, this has been one ugly quarter for him. And it keeps getting uglier. I mean, his touch has basically gone AWOL. And Randall throws it down. So it looks like just playing the last bit of this game out in what should be a nice win here for the Lakers. Two great rebounding teams, Clark. Yeah, and these guys just worked a little bit harder tonight. That was the edge that was needed. You always need role players to step up and help. And that was the case here as everything was working for Kobe Bryant. Well, there wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every opportunity he got. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Noah. They shoot again. Snell, that's good. Now Lynn. And so the Lakers take the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Moore, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant.